Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. In this session, I am going to tell uh, about an expression that can be used in data flow in case of uh, parsing or manipulating a date field. Okay, so I will show you my source and expectations. I have an Azure SQL table which is having a modified date column. It is bringing me data in the form of varchar. It is not a proper date column. Uh, uh, maybe your case can be you are bringing a date from a file, text file, okay, or CSV file. Uh, in, in that case, we cannot control how the date is formatted and all, right? With respect to a SQL table, we can. But uh, for this demo purpose, I am just making it a varchar column. And my data is like this. Couple of rows are having uh, wrong data like zeros, uh, which we need to remove and all other data which are a proper date it has to be converted into appropriate date format like yymmdd like that format we have to convert that is the requirement um, in our case okay how are we going to do it using derived column transformation that's what i'm going to tell you if you look here we have the source data like this so the first thing that we might have to do is to uh, split this and bring it to a format which can be converted or parsed as a date okay so uh, the first thing that we can do is we can split the uh, records by space okay and then we can convert it into an array so after we split it by um, uh, space september will be the first element of the array one will be the second element of the array 2006 will be the third element of the array okay and uh, 12 am uh, this would be the last element of the array after we have done this what we can do is we can convert it uh, into whatever format we want like uh, first i can take the uh, date part so i can take the uh, index part and then i can concatenate one hyphen and next to that i can take the first element of the array which is september and then one more hyphen and last will be the year part which is nothing but the third element okay so after i do all this using a concat function what we will be ending up is uh, 1 september 2006 like this we will be having okay and then we have to convert it into a date and then into a string of whatever format we want like yymmdd or mmdd yyyy whatever format we want okay this is what i'm going to do in the derived column transformation so the first step is to split by space after splitting by space uh, what i encounter with this data this is an adventure works table which i have uh, used during the table creation or database creation so after i split the whole value by space what i encountered is one more additional space in between september and one okay so after the space is used for first splitting september became the first element and one more space became the second element and uh, this one became the third element of the array and 2006 became the fourth element followed by the 12 am okay so this space is unwanted for me i just want the date portion the month portion and the year portion so anyway we are going to ignore this so i have to somehow get rid of this space so for that what we can do is uh, we have a function called accept function okay anyway we are having all these values in an array this accept function is a very nice function what it does is it takes two arrays okay array one and array two as arguments so what it is doing is array one minus array two okay so take the elements from array two subtract it with array one elements and give back the results so in our case the first array would be having September and a space and then uh, the date portion and then the time portion okay uh, this one and then the second array would be a simple space so what it would do is it would subtract uh, this space from the first array and it would give the result as September 1 2006 this is how it will be giving i will show you how it works in the derived column by uh, showing the data preview so that it will be understandable so in in our case we are just passing a string value which is coming in month uh, day year time all separated by space 
one or more spaces basically okay that is how it is i am taking you to the data flow now all right so this is my uh, source data as you see here modified date brings 00 and some date okay i am using a derived column here after i have written, written an expression whichever record uh, was like 0, 0, 0, so which were not be able to be converted into the proper date they are all coming as null and whichever had proper uh, date structure like uh, a month a day and a an year it got converted into appropriate uh, format ddmm yy like that okay so what is the expression i'll uh, break the expression and tell you how it works the way i explained you in sql uh, uh, editor right the same way i'm going to tell you now okay but uh, I'll, I'll show you the preview and all all right so split as i told you split uh, function splits the string based on space and the second element would be date element first element would be the month element third element would be the year element okay since we want it in dd mm yy format i am putting second first and then the first element second third element next so according to your uh, requirement you can either follow this pattern or one two three this pattern or whatever pattern you want okay right now i am just keeping it as ddmm y y y y all right after i have split and taken the appropriate element of the date i am concatenating hyphen so that i am getting a proper date structure okay so uh, all the split along with concat what we will be after this uh, whole portion what we will be getting is one september y y y y like this we will be getting okay and then what we have to do is we have to pass it to a date function because if we do not use this date to date function after concatenating it will be converted into null all the date structure or date values will be converted into null because uh, we need to tell which portion of your string is which part of your date which is date part which is month part which is year part this has to be clearly mentioned so for that what i'm doing after concatenating i'm converting it into two date by passing this format so i'm telling the first portion would, would be dd second portion would be mmm third portion would be y y y y okay so this is how we convert a string of any structure to an appropriate date format so till this it will be a date okay if i remove the string portion you will be getting a, a date with uh, dd mmm y y y y format and i have to convert it into some other format okay so for that i'm what i'm doing i'm doing two string maybe i can say mmm dd y y y y so if i do a refresh it has to be converted into appropriate format whichever values uh, were having the date parts correctly it will be converted whichever uh, was junk it would not be converted okay i'm sorry so this is what i wanted to show you in this session because it might be helpful for those who are looking for uh, date conversion right all right so after i have refreshed see here uh, zero zeros were converted to null and uh, all other values converted to mm dd y y y y format okay i will be copying and pasting this expression for your uh, demo or for your testing so that you can make use of the expressions like this if you have any questions regarding the same you can let me know in the comment section all right so the moment we convert use the expression our date will be coming as proper date in whatever format we mention so this is what i had for the session thanks a lot for watching uh, keep supporting